Hey, what's going on guys? Comic Games here. If you're watching this video, then probably most likely you are aware that this summer uh, so-called NNUE version of Stockfish Chess Engine has appeared. And well, what, what is this basically? So NNUE stands for, uh, if you just read this like from backwards, uh, it means like efficiently updatable neural networks. I'm not going to be diving into the t details of the implementation of this stuff because it's kind of rocket science to me, both this neural network stuff and the implementation in C++ stockfish is really so complicated to me that I will probably never ever be able to uh, figure out how it works. Uh, I mean, at least from the probing perspective, like how, how to extract the scores from, from that uh, huge data set of up to 20 megabytes that uh, can be downloaded from. Uh, some stockfish rela related resources uh, but anyway you know like uh, since uh, this uh, NNUE fever has started uh, this summer uh, really lots of developers were experimenting with embedding uh, this efficiently up updatable neural networks into their own engines uh, really lots of examples are already available and many were complaining like what's the reason of doing that if you have a stockfish just uh, a stockfish like evaluation function but just uh, with a more weak search and things like that but mm, that's the matter of taste basically and that's kind of personal opinion that i don't really want to touch here what i wanted to do as code monkey keen uh, i wanted to use uh, this uh, nnue as a black box without uh, understanding exactly how it works even though i'm trying to research and, and learn about this uh, but uh, anyway, still, I'm quite, I'm quite pretty far from understanding all the great details behind how it works. So, so what I was wanted, so, so what I was trying to achieve is actually I was trying to uh, find some sort of a module that would be engine independent in terms of you can just try to import this module into your code and just trying to probe that uh, Stockfish neural network just to, in order to obtain. The decent scores for uh, a current given position and that's kind of it but uh, when i started well actually uh, a little history so first uh, I, I made this post at talk chess like hacking around seafish uh, neural networks uh, ab efficiently updatable neural networks so what seafish is seafish is the uh, port of stockfish chess engine to c programming language so uh, i realized that i would never ever be able to understand the C++ implementation of uh, probing these neural networks. So I decided to pick up something more e e easier and I, I took this one, Seafish, uh, by the way, written by Ronald DeMann, who is also the author of CZG uh, Endgame, ta uh, Endgame Table Bases. And I was hacking around the code and, well, there were... Uh, uh, there were there were really lots of things that were confusing me, but uh, later on within this thread, uh, fortunately, guys from TalkChess actually explained me that uh, the problem uh, is that Stockfish uses uh, really lots of uh, performance optimizations and also some incremental updates for the very first layer of the network, for the very first input layer. Uh, and there, there was actually an option to not actually doing that incremental updates because it involves already changing your make move function and that's a little bit too much for me personally i really wanted something uh, ha having some something standalone and this guy daniel shevel actually uh gave me a clue on how in particular this might be done but uh you know that comic again is too dumb to understand that so he, he told me like if you're frustrated you can wait for me to add uh, uh, NNUE to my library that already does this endgame table table data is a neural net network probe. So actually what happened, Daniel Shavel actually created the uh, library of my dream. David, if you would ever be watching this video, uh, I want to thank you so much. I can't be grateful enough uh, because what you've done is just exactly what, what I requested and what I wanted to have. So uh, actually this, th this thread also helped me to realize what in particular I want because uh, the matter of uh, pure embedding of uh, this uh, uh, NNU reference from the chess engine is not an exact option I wanted to obtain. What I wanted to obtain, I, I wanted to obtain a board representation and mode generation agnostic implementation that let's say could have uh, uh, rely only on FEN string. Well, obviously that's uh, not really that efficient, 
But anyway, I just wanted to get this uh, as a proof of concept but, uh, and later on probably trying to dive deeper, uh, trying to uh, find some, um, some faster solutions. Well, anyway, uh, during this research, this, this, all this story was happening last night. Uh, I couldn't get asleep, so it was just a couple of hours past midnight. So uh, eventually I came, uh, I came across uh, this sort of a stuff. So this is called Stockfish Evaluation Guide and they've added this new NNUE tab recently. So the idea is very simple. You can just click this uh, uh, link to download uh, uh, the network the itself. So uh, I've, already, I've already downloaded this one. So I have this in my downloads folder. And if you just uh, click choose file here and open and here you have uh, neural, uh, this efficient lab datable neural network evaluation straight ahead. So if you just move a piece, uh, it's getting updated. And that's the idea. First, I was, try I was thinking, well, before Daniel actually released his library this night, uh, I was al already thinking that I will somehow try to uh, port this JavaScript implementation that relies on FEN completely, by the way, to C programming language. But that will probably take ages and it won't be that, uh, you know, won't be that done that good as actually Daniel uh, uh, managed to do this. But anyway, here uh, I first uh, saw the idea of how in particular I want this sort of a library, yes, better call it library probably, to look like. So uh, when I was checking this JavaScript code code in the, page, in the view page source right over here, so uh, what it does, it actually takes the FEN string. So this, this string is known as FEN string. This is the string representation of, a string, stringified representation of the board position. So it takes this uh, position as an input to the function uh, NNUE evaluate. And then after like very complicated to my personal opinion calculation uh, cal calculations, it retrieves this sort of a score back. And what I wanted from when I found this one, I just wanted to have the same stuff, but in C. So I could just simply uh, embed it to my engine and try to play around with that and literally switching the evaluation uh, from the handcrafted one to the neural, to this neural network evaluation. And you can't ever imagine how happy I was when it was for about 3 a.m. in the morning. I'm, I'm not sure, just uh, check around here in this thread. I'll, I'll give all the links in the description. Uh, when actually Daniel said that uh, he released this, he, he has released this. Yeah, I just finished implementing the library. And well, this the initial version had a, uh, had a slight bug regarding FEN conversion, which uh, I've revealed. But uh, he just uh, uh, he uh, well at least this morning to uh, this morning I've already seen that uh, he has uh, he has fixed that bug. Not not sure where exactly this is in the ah yeah there was a bug. I just fixed this, so the the problem with, was with the decoding FEN. So now the version we already have a fixed version, which uh, I will now download and quickly demonstrate uh, you how how one can make use of it. Well, uh, a few words uh, regarding some issues that I'm currently facing is that actually this one, uh, if you if you just uh, build this library uh, like suggested in the uh, in the readme file, you will create uh, in Linux this would be .so file in in Windows probably it would be .dll file. Uh, the only way to compile this for Windows is using the cross compiler. So uh, I think there is no native way uh, to mm, compile this on Windows, but uh, I will compile this using cross compiler on my Linux system and provide you the binary executable so you would be able to play around with them. And uh, well, what else uh, I've realized that, well, obviously it's possible to use this as this dynamically linked library. Uh, and call the functions, so the core interface functions, I'll just show you them, like uh, initialize the neural network and uh, uh, get a score from the uh, FEN position and, go and get score directly uh, using some sort of parameters that I didn't yet uh, work them out that great to understand and explain how, how in particular that could have been done. But anyway, uh, the way I'm using it now, uh, I'm just uh, linking the files to, together and, and compiling them on my own. And uh, that actually uh, brings a working solution that proves the concept that you can just simply input the FEN string as an input and get this neural network evaluation as an output. And this is the exact thing that I was supposed to be doing in the next 
few minutes. So without further ado, let's actually go and get it. So first I want to copy this. So, uh, if you don't have Git or, or Linux, you can just download the zip. It's not a problem, but well, probably if you're on Windows, you won't be really that much able of following this tutorial because again, like uh, I don't see uh, a native uh, Windows uh, a comp uh, c compilation flags available in the make file but if you just try to compile it uh, with the uh, min uh, min jw gcc on your on your windows maybe you will succeed i'm not sure if you if you do succeed please let me know in the commentaries i'm really tempted to know that anyway so you can just download this but uh, i use the git clone and uh, i just open the terminal on my desktop and say git clone and paste uh, uh, the path to the repo Okay, so this is it, and now I'm just going to the source. So let's have a look. Uh, sorry, not not this one. Uh, this one. So here, uh, uh, the the code is a mixture of uh, the Cifish code by Ronald Deman and some adjustments made by Daniel Shovel. So he just got rid of the need for for dealing with incrementally updated uh, uh, position state uh, within the make move. So he did get rid of uh, he did command out all this code not get got rid of this but uh, actually didn't use it really and now it actually working uh, directly with fen so just to give you an idea regarding the interface of this uh, of this sort of a prog program uh, yeah here here are the interfaces so we can use an NUE in it and pass in just the file name as a string to it then we can uh, evaluate, uh, so actually uh, literally retrieving the score from the neural network by using this player pieces and square pointers. Uh, not yet sure how exactly this is done, but uh, it's not that big deal, I believe, to, to understand how exactly it works. And I hope that the following tutorials would uh, bring some light into it. And the particular the particular function I'm supposed to be uh, showing in this video so this one uh, and then you evaluate fen and uh, it takes the fen position as uh, as the imp parameter and that's kind of it so I will now want just to create a test dot c file well probably can you call it cpp as well doesn't matter really so here I want to include uh, this nne.h and also include uh, stdio.h to be able to make use of the printf function and just create the main function like this return zero and here uh, so well uh, I'll provide the code well probably uh, just okay so first we want to initialize a uh, neural network and in order to do this we just simply need to say an NUE in it and now we need to pass the file name uh, of, a, of a given file so in order to do this I just need to go to my downloads grab the particular uh, binary files for about 20 megabytes yeah 21 megabytes quite pretty huge so I copy this and uh, view, uh, sorry, view folder. Yeah, I just want to paste this right over in here. Okay, and just rename, copy, and use this file name here. Okay, and then uh, I want to get the score for, let's say, starting chess position so in order to do this i need simply to say uh, and then you evaluate fen like this and now i just need to grab a starting position fen from somewhere well, let's go to this stockfish evaluation stuff so this one and i just want to grab the fen from here copy and paste it here and now I need to be precise to compile this correctly. So I need to use G++, not GCC. So if you're using a MinGV version on Windows, this should be G++ as well. And so first, test.cpp, right? It can be C as well. The, the, the extension doesn't matter. Well, at least on Linux. Then I want to use 
uh, nnue.c and misc dot oh, sorry cpp and misc dot cpp and create let's call it test binary executable and i also want to say that if it runs i wanna uh, if it can pass i want to run this test binary executable so let's have a look okay not loaded it's a bit it's a little bit strange okay So what did I do wrong? Okay, guys, I'm sorry for, <laughs> for confusing you. So uh, uh, I'm a bit new to this stuff. So yeah, actually it is loaded. Why did I think that it's not loaded? So everything is just fine. And the only thing I need to do now, I just need to print, uh, to print out the score in the following way. So here I just can say, uh, score and decimal specifier and we should get the value of 42 which is exactly the value that i had here on stockfish uh, evaluation guide so just to demonstrate it again so how one can check whether it, wor it works correctly well assuming you have uh, exactly the same neural network so you just open this one and yeah and it goes here 42 by default so well let's say we have some some position here so the evaluation is 17 so let's grab this fen here copy and actually paste this into our code like this paste so it should be the same value score 17 and this is the exact evaluation that is actually returned by the evaluation function so regardless of whether it's handcrafted or neural network space so that's the score that engine relies on i don't know how you guys find this but i personally find this to be absolutely fantastic and now the challenge for me is actually so the first challenge is actually try to uh, compile this library with uh, gcc not with G++. G++. i'm not really sure how exactly that can be done because uh, at the moment the issue is that this uh, well, it's actually, this is the C code, it's not the C++ code, but uh, when it comes, well, as, as far as Daniel was actually trying to make uh, a library uh, and dynamic dynamic library, so he was using this like, uh, well, first, I'm not sure about this, uh, so, so this seems to be the point, or I'm not sure what is this all about, to be honest, uh, and also here in uh, this NNUE, this DLL expert and this uh, unknown to me uh, keywords so I don't know how, I don't know even how to call them are also not getting compiled with the GCC but well I think that you can that I can just uh, get rid of this one and this one make it just simple integer and try to make use of it and also here in MISC well probably trying to understand what this so uh, in C this and symbol means uh, the location the, the the memory address i'm not sure if this means the same here well anyway so i need to work that out a little bit uh, in order to be able to embed that into my engine well may, maybe i'll find some some other way uh, maybe uh, if the binary uh, if actually the dot o file which is the uh, the uh, executable object if that can be linked uh, if uh, compiled by g plus plus uh, .o file can be linked with a .o file compiled by GCC, which is like for my engine. Maybe, maybe that would be even easier to to consider. So uh, I didn't yet test this. Really need to to make some uh, to, to hack around a little bit with this sort of a stuff. But anyway, guys, can you believe this? Can can you believe this is possible? So we can just probe the neural network uh, file and getting the evaluations back and. Uh, like that's much easier to actually embed this logic of generating uh, an NUE evaluation in your chess engine compared to how they done this in Stockfish or Cfish when all this complicated uh, incremental updates and stuff like that. But actually, uh, you might wonder that those incremental updates are given 
a significant uh, advantage uh, on the performance but actually Daniel uh, provided his uh, tests here uh, and well actually this is arguable by uh, so R Ronald Demand the author of Seafish actually said that probably Dan Daniel has, sorry guys has done something wrong with the uh, uh, seemed extract uh, instructions optimization so single instruction multiple dimension is a fancy name for uh, hardware processor related stuff when you can use some specific instructions to perform, perform arithmetic calculations uh, on a hardware level much faster compared to if you're doing this in the like regularly without those specific fu specific functions but anyway so the daniel writes here so funny thing that uh, thing is that incremental updates only gives uh, 4.5 percentage percent of speed up on the third position that it may uh, be not be worth it at all so yeah the uh, any implementation below was directly minim implemented in my engine with all incremental update etc uh, and this uh, without increment it's really the right is through the library yeah so actually without increment without increment not sure what this man copy means but anyway so I just I'm, I'm too dumb to understand this values exactly but what I have what I have understood from this post that we can actually omit those fancy stockfish uh, implementation that complicated one that needs to do something in your make move and take back function I don't even have take back function so you understand my concerns but we can simply just probe this neural network and get in the score and we're done and that's it just like a black box so code make against dream here okay guys uh i don't know whether you're excited as i am but uh, you can't ever imagine how excited i am so the fur the further videos i'll obviously first try to done this on my own with bbc chess engine and if i succeed or hopefully to see when i succeed I'll try to make uh, some tutorial series on how to embed this NNU evaluation into BBC Chess Engine, which in theory should be applicable to whatever chess engine uh, written in C at least. So we will we would be able to embed neural networks to like TSCP, Wise, and whatever engines we love so much. But obviously needs a little bit of work work, work around, but. Uh, I, st I hope that at least at this dumb level my brains would be enough to uh, solve this task well anyway again like many thanks to Daniel Shovel uh, for creating this uh, fantastic library and this is it from my side guys I hope to see you in the next tutorials on this just programming channel so come back again here wish you all the best take care guys see you next time